Hi friends, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and today I have a what is hopefully uh, going to be a super fun video in which I am going to be making a travel journal in a kind of like junk journal style. So I don't yet know how I want to do it. All I know is I want it to be a soft cover one signature journal and um, I want to have a whole assortment of fun papers to play with so you may know if you've been following my channel uh, for the past few weeks that I have been uh, recently on a trip to Malta which I really really loved and uh, as a journaler um, I I you know, I was collecting all of the bits and pieces, all of the tickets, ephemera pieces, leaflets, little maps of cities we visited, and of course, uh, photos. And so I have a lot of things that I want to put somewhere. And yeah, so that's why I am going to be making this journal. And I don't know if this journal is going to be just for this particular trip or if I'm going to fit maybe two trips into it, I don't know anything. I just want to have fun and uh, share it with you guys. Okay, so what I have here is just a ton of different things. So maybe let me start with the cover, with what I'm planning to do for the cover. I'm going to move these things. So I have this uh, really pretty, this is Atlas Geograficzny, which pretty much is just Atlas, geographical Atlas, something like that. I got it uh, on, an, on a flea market and this is crazy. This is like 320 um, złotys, which is a Polish currency. Like it wouldn't cost this much, like it would be maybe... 30. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I was thinking it looks like that has those really beautiful um, vintage uh, maps. Uh, probably not the most accurate. Let's see, do I have? Oh, it's not that old. It's 1982. But I was thinking of using one of those pages and folding it in half and making a cover out of this. Uh, they are nice and, well, they are not super thick, um, but you know, a little bit, a little bit thicker than um, some of my other old book pages. And I think I'm going to look maybe for for a map that has Malta in it. Okay, so what do we have? We have, this is Northern Europe. Oh, here. Oh, here is Malta, okay. Not sure if you guys can see, but we have Italy. So this is um, kind of the south of Europe. We have Italy, Sicily, and here is Malta. So I'm thinking maybe I will just use this book page or this map how do I how do I get to it I'm not sure oh maybe this way so I'm going to take this one page okay which one this one so let's see if I fold it like that. This is what I'm going to get. This is, I believe, roughly A5 size. I have, I have an A4 sheet of paper somewhere here. Let me check. So this is like A4. Okay. See, so this is slightly larger than um, than A4. But if I fold it. I will have a lot of space for my page. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with it and let's fold it up and let's see how I want it. Oh, why is it so crooked? Is this page crooked? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to even it out a little bit. 
okay i love it so of course this map is so big and it's vertical so it's going to be sideways but i honest, honestly don't mind okay where's my paper cutter i'm actually working on a few projects at the moment and when i am in the middle of some projects my um my room is such a mess you guys such a mess like i have everything lying next to my desk on the floor <laughs> okay so i am just trimming the sides here to kind of make it more even i definitely don't have to do that all right so now let's see about the pages uh, we are going to be doing some stuff to the cover uh, but let's first choose our pages so i want to show you guys i don't know if i'm going to use all of this but i want to show you guys some choices that you have when creating a junk journal whether it be a travel themed or not uh, i think map pages are just so universal definitely doesn't have to be a travel journal that you use them for so i have this nice and grungy coffee stained sheet of paper it has some um kind of grungy doily imprints so this is uh, one thing then I have this one this is just like a notebook page as you can see and uh, this has been taken out of a notebook kind of like a traveler notebook size maybe slightly smaller um, but I like different kinds of paper so then I have this envelope and I was thinking, so this is just a window envelope that I tea or coffee stained. I was thinking of maybe opening it up uh, and using it as like a page because I like both sides. Uh, they are nice and grungy, so we will see about that. Um, I have this book, again, from a flea market. This is Poradnik Fotograficzny, so this is about photography. And because I've taken a lot of photos and I am obviously... Oh, these pages are loose. Uh, I'm obviously going to uh, add some photos to this journal. Maybe I will use a page or two from this. I can actually take those out. Um, what else? I have this atlas. So again, um, flea market find. And let's see, we have, oh, someone has been cutting out little flags from this. Um, but yeah, we have, we have really fun maps. Some of them are larger, like that. And here is Malta again. How about I just take this page? Now how do I I don't know if they are sewn or if they are glued or even maybe um I think I'm going to take a ruler and do it like that. Yep, much better. A little bit torn but we have our malta here so one of those at least um yeah i really like this this small atlas what else do i have i have a just a scrap piece of paper um, this has lines maybe i will use it i could fold it like that i really like journaling sideways in my junk journals um, i also have this kind of like a receipt which was very kindly gifted to me it's so beautiful and kind of like a ledger receipt thing uh, thing from china which is super nice and i love the colors um, then i have a few book pages which also have been gifted to me uh, so those super pretty uh, vintage children's book pages which I don't know just add a nice touch to your journal and I also have a couple of these are I believe maybe like um 
typewriter manual pages something like that um, but I really love those colors I have some uh, flower book pages these are from a book the Oxford book of garden flowers the Oxford book of garden flowers so just to add a pop of color so maybe we will use this some more just random book pages this one has also really nice illustrations and I love text pages to just collage over or stick photos or something like that and then those beautiful illustrations and there is even some spots here for writing and then this one is an antique um, garden gardening dictionary so it's super beautiful and oh, I just love these pages I then have a piece of brown packing paper so maybe I will you know add it for nice crunch and texture I have this piece which I believe is mulberry paper um, so I could just perhaps fold it somehow and add it I believe this one came in a your creative studio box but I also recently got a pack of mulberry paper from uh, Amazon and then I have this tracing paper which I inked around for some other project also nice crinkle and I love journaling on tracing paper love love um, then I have this kind of scrap or sheet um, feels like handmade paper for some so a lot of sizes and a lot of textures this one is much thicker than some of the papers then I have this which is a leftover from some um, wrapping paper also a really nice vintage look and uh, could be great for adding some color so wrapping paper then I have this which is like super old tracing paper which I got I don't even remember where uh, it might have been a part of some album or or a vintage book but it, got, it, it has got a really nice crinkle <laughs> to it. What else? I have some more pages, so book pages. This is a scrap of Edith Holden with her beautiful writing and some illustration on the back. I have this one. This one comes from a book, Granny Chic. Uh, Granny Chic. And I uh, just love this kampa and I thought it kind of goes really well with travel theme. I have this sheet of paper from Daphne's Diary magazine, um, which because I am going to use this journal only for my personal use, I am allowed to use those pages. I think with... Um, I think you can't really use uh, Daphne's Diary images for project for sale, but for personal use, you know, this is just a gorgeous flower pattern. And then, of course, some scrapbooking paper. This is from Tim Holtz. I don't remember the name of the collection, but it's the travel one, so maybe we will use a piece of this as well so obviously there are lots more papers that you can use you can also use uh, more blank pages um, like I'm not planning to write a lot so that's why I don't have that many blank pages in a selection of papers um, but if you if you prefer to to actually journal more uh, then definitely include some more blank pages of different sort you can also um, include some maybe wallpaper this is a wonderful wonderful paper um, or texture for your journals and uh, yeah like pretty much whatever you've got uh, whatever you've got on hand okay so how do we do it I think I'm just going to start with uh, folding those pages that I want to use so I'm thinking this one and we will see how many of those we have I think I'm going to use one of those flowery ones and I'm going to leave the rough edge <clears throat> because I like it um, or else I could 
could use one of these. Now which one? Maybe the pink will actually go nice with with what with what we already have and I am probably going to tear a little bit um, so that it fits within the cover. Well, it's actually a perfect fit, this one. How about those, those children book pages? Maybe, I don't know yet. I definitely want this receipt though. It's super fun. A map with our little Malta here on oh, this photography book page. I think it's going to be super fun. <clears throat> oh, this vellum piece, I really, really love vellum in my journals. Oh, this one and the same thing. So how about I just tear A little bit of it and I have this for my journal and this to my scraps box. <laughs> uh, what else could we use? Maybe a little bit of this wrapping paper. So how about I just fold it and then tear it this way and then perhaps this way so this will go to my journal so how many pages do we have I think I can start with forming <coughs> the signature and The way I'm going to do it is I am going to mix and match all the different heights, sizes, weights, paper to create an interesting look. Oh, the uh, envelope. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it open. Like that on those two sides. And then cut those off. Yep, and just use it like that as a page with a little flip. So how about we we put it here? And then we have this window, right? So we could maybe add something that would look nice in the window. And my Malta is not going to be visible, but a little bit of a map, why not? Um, let's go maybe with the, big, with the big paper here. Then something smaller, something more colorful, <clears throat> a bit of texture and then how about this book page, maybe, maybe vellum and then this could be my middle piece, maybe this way, so that we have the flower like that, okay. So that would be my signature. Let's see if it fits within the cover. It does. And I also have a little bit of space even on the largest pages to add maybe some tabs or something like that, which I love to do. So actually I'm thinking maybe with this, with this big page, I am going to... I don't want to cut it necessarily, but I could fold the bows, make little flaps, which will either give me nice tack spots if I glue those sides, or, or it just will give me more space for journaling. So this way, yeah. 
and I did that because I just like the I like to see all of those uh, pages so something something like that perhaps will this fit yes it will yes it will okay so I think I like it so for now Let me just give you a very quick flip of the signature that we have for now. So we have the photography book page, some lined pages for journaling, um, wrapping paper, the envelope, map, coffee paper, receipt, book page. This is packing paper, a book page tracing paper and a book page and I really like it I like how uneven those edges are <clears throat> I might even want to tear some of them so how about I actually just tear off this this flap I will leave it in my scraps box but I do really like <clears throat> uneven edges in in my journals so maybe i will leave this one maybe i will just tear a little bit of this as well okay yep some of them i will just leave as they are and yeah maybe some from here and i think our signature is done so I'm going to clip it for now so that it stays like that and let's see about this cover so because this cover is just a piece of paper and a vintage one for that I definitely want to reinforce it and how would I do it I think on the outside I would like to add a piece of lace to the spine so kind of like that because it would give me a little bit of reinforcement but mostly just decoration and I think I like how it looks I always like to add a bit um, some bits of lace to my journals but on the inside I have this piece of uh, this is tea stained or coffee stained, tea stained probably, just um, cotton fabric. And I was thinking maybe of taking a piece of that and adding it inside here, uh, gluing it. So this whole part where my signature is going to be sewn is going to just be reinforced and safe um, because obviously fabric is not as uh, easy to tear as paper so the way I would do it is I'm going to take those loose threads out first and then I think do I want it to stick out a little bit yeah why not why not so I'm going to take a piece which is going to be slightly larger than my cover I can always make it shorter later if i feel like it i'm making just a tiny cut and then tearing for the torn effect and i'm going to glue it here <clears throat> in the middle I'm using wet glue so tacky glue wet glue anything like that and I think I am going to be stitching around the the cover so I don't I don't want to use too much glue because because this paper <clears throat> well I don't want it to warp warp too much from the glue but I'm also going to be reinforcing this fabric with machine stitching later so I don't need that much glue okay and then kind of in the middle I don't know if I see 
perfectly where the metal is, but that's fine. And I will take my bone folder, make sure it is attached well. <clears throat> so the paper did warp a little bit, but it's going to uh, straighten um, slightly when it's dry. Mm -hmm. So with my fabric covers, I always like to reinforce with fabric because I do not trust paper not to tear. <laughs> I much, much more trust a piece of fabric like that. And it also gives a nice, nice effect, I think. Mm -hmm. And so if you can see, our signature is going to be nestled here. So this is also kind of like another texture, um, which I quite like. I like how it looks. And then I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to worry about my cover tearing. So on the outside, I want to do the same thing, just with lace. <clears throat> so I will cut a piece of lace, roughly the length of my cover. Now do I see where the metal is? <clears throat> okay, what I'm going to do to kind of help me see where the metal is, is I am going to, if I can find it, take my inking tool and ink this edge up a little bit with some leftover vintage, excuse me, leftover vintage photo ink that I have on the sponge. <clears throat> and this just makes um, this line in the middle much more visible and I want to position it kind of in the middle of this lace. So I'm just doing the same thing, just a little bit of glue, I'm going to smoosh it with my finger. and attach my lace roughly in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then I can, can take my bone folder or, you know, just the edge of a ruler to smooth it out and make sure it's attached to where you want it. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm not going to... Um, kind of close it yet. While this is drying, I'm actually thinking I would like a metal book plate here on the front, uh, which would say like kind of, I don't know, journey or travel, uh, something like that. So let me grab, um, let me grab, is this the one? No. So we have some super simple metal book plates, got them on Amazon, like that, and I think I would really like one here. However, again, this paper is just a singular sheet of paper, so I don't think I want to attach it with bread kind of directly to this paper. So what I was thinking was maybe taking some bits of scraps and creating a little mat underneath the, the label. Um, so let's see, I actually have those, excuse me guys. Um, okay, let me bring it here. So I have those Tim Holtz cards, maybe I could actually use, use one of those, so you know, something like 
something like this and then add some scraps and now which one do i like i like this one with with the grid this one with the ledger would also look nice how about this we have red <clears throat> and blue no i think i like this grid the most so far although i do love this as well Oh, this is so pretty <laughs> okay but these are some options that we've got okay this one no i think this one is better vertical this one could be an option as well Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have. So we could add just a piece of graph and then maybe add some some other scraps here and there. Or we can add something a bit more decorated. And actually quite like this with the old tape and a random label but maybe it's it's just a bit too busy for the front I think I'm just going to go with this graph <laughs> with this graph paper so right and I don't think I want I want it just so crisp with all the rounded edges so I'm going to use my tearing ruler. This one comes from Amazon and the brand is Joy Crafts. It's sometimes unavailable, but it comes back to stock from what I've seen sometimes. And also we are memory keepers. Also have um, a, like a set of tearing rulers which I think people use as well okay yep so I wanted like that <clears throat> going to ink the edges and then I would also like to add some scraps and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this little collage I'm going to add uh, my label to it with metal brads and then the whole thing I'm just going to attach to to here okay let's see some paper scraps maybe piece of this <clears throat> or even this I have some mulberry paper or handmade paper some ledger oh I will just see what works you know These are some of your creative studio papers. Maybe the green one would go well here. Okay, let's see. I don't want it big or complicated. I just want to add a few bits and pieces to here. I 
think I quite like it then my label would go here I just think for this one I want to tear those edges a little bit more at least those that are going to be visible and then for the other scraps I just want to ink everything oh do I have any uh, tea stained doilies or something like that some pieces maybe not here but I should have some for sure <clears throat> okay let me check in my other box okay so I have this coffee coffee stand um, doily paper doily and I was thinking maybe I could use this one instead so how about I just add those two pieces let's let me see my label and then my label would go here yeah I think so I think I think so how about I turn it this way and we have a little bit of the yep I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you guys are are doing great. I wanted to have this video up last week, but unfortunately I did not get to filming it. But I'm happy. I'm very happy to film it now. Okay, just a little bit of glue for this doily and it will go here mm -hmm. and then my label we still need to have a little a card to go inside so sometimes those labels come with with like cards but i don't think these ones did yeah i don't have any so i'm going to make one myself and what could i use i could <clears throat> definitely go for either a ledger just a piece of ledger like that or maybe do i have some some lighter tim holtz cardstock which i could maybe stamp my title on mm -hmm. How about a piece of this ledger? Oh, I like it. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm going to just eyeball it. <laughs> and try to cut this. This label. The right size. <clears throat> we can always make it smaller if it's not the correct size maybe slightly more even <laughs> okay will it fit it will fit and I really like how it looks 
Okay, so my next step is going to be attaching this label to the plate. Uh, and what I'm going to use for that is just a couple of metal brads. An awl, or you know, a pokey tool. <laughs> so let's see, where would I like it? Here, I'm thinking. I'm just going to try not to hurt myself while making those holes. Here's one and two. Now my brads go through the holes to the other side. And what I'm going to do is I am going to open them up on the other side like that. And the second one. Great. Oh, I really like it. I like how it looks. And I think it's a nice decoration for the cover as well. So here on this plate, I would like to maybe stamp something. are like those clickable stamps that you uh, <coughs> excuse me that you just can create a word click it and um, and um, stamp so I think I'm going to go for journey for this one I got those on Aliexpress I got two sets because one set comes with one set of letters um, and sometimes you know you you want multiple vowels in in your word that you're going to stamp okay do i have any r's or did i not take I think I have more somewhere. Yep, here they are. Here is my R. And then I need an M. This is going to fit. Yes, journey, journey. Okay. Need. I think this is just one set that I have here. That's why I have that much trouble with finding those. Um, so what do I need? I need an E and I need an, a Y. So here is Y and an E. Again? I don't have it again. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so let me check. Okay, so we have journ journey. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to use to stamp it is some archival ink in the color coffee. Somewhere 
here hopefully journey pretty okay i'm going to clean the stamp on the other side of it now will it go in nicely yep okay i really love how it looks all righty so here we have our journey and i think we could go and um, glue it already but I was thinking how about I actually use some postage stamps to decorate this cover a little bit more so what I'm going to grab is actually this box this beautiful box that my my boyfriend made for me and i have he stamp scraps which means that um, they are still on scraps of paper and i got them uh, in my local post office but you know i think i think some of them would look really nice here maybe something like that um and just just in case i'm sorry if there are any uh, any stamps that are not nice i don't know how to say it so i don't get demonetized but when i was um looking through this for the first time i found some stamps with the image of a very bad guy who <laughs> who kind of started the second world war so um yeah I, I don't know if i got rid of of all of them but what i want is i just want to add just a few of those maybe maybe like that these are gorgeous with those berries and i'm thinking yeah something for for the bottom here And they were super cheap for look at this you guys this box is full of those stamp scraps and they were just you know so cheap at my local post office so oh, how about this one with the uh, airplane we did go to malta via airplane this one is gorgeous with the gold background but i'm thinking maybe maybe something like this what do you guys think i think i like it okay i need to use those more they are super fun but uh this one incident this one stamp that i found here kind of put me off I would definitely not like to show stamps like that online but I, I hope I, I got rid of all the copies anyway let's let's make sure these oh and these are from Canada oh they are so gorgeous so gorgeous those berries okay and I think the plain one the airplane one I want to try and tear the edges of this of this paper I don't know if it's going to work because it's quite thick it's like maybe from a postcard and where is this this is a German German stamp okay maybe it's going to be a bit easier if I do it by hand so I don't want to you lose uh, all the paper around it. I like the scrappy feel of that. But I also don't really want those super crisp straight edges. <laughs> okay, this is much better, I think. Let's see. So like that yeah i think something like 
like that. I definitely don't want to cover those berries. And then this one could go here. I love it. Alrighty, so I am going to to glue down this one first. And I hope it will stick. This is a little bit of a glossy paper on the other side of the stamp. So we have this. I think we are going to make a second part to this video. So in this first part we are making and decorating the cover, choosing papers for signatures and I am thinking that the second part would be first of all we would bind our signature and then we could add some decorating to the pages and also maybe some pockets where I can find where I can put sorry my ephemera and extra photos and things like that so if you guys would like to see uh, me actually use this journal and journal about my trip and how I would use those pages uh, please let me know in the comments I don't know if you are interesting interested at all uh, in in journaling or maybe you just prefer to see the process of creating the journal um, but but yeah I could do a couple of videos perhaps where we would journal Okay, so we can actually see how it looks now that I folded it and I love how it looks oh I love it I love it I think I could add one more scrap like the stamp scrap to the back maybe here to kind of tie tie both of those sides together um, so do I have something this is gorgeous again from Canada or maybe these or maybe I would like this is a nice large piece maybe for a tuck spot some decoration something like that how about this yeah I think so I like the yellow flower this is from Czeska Republika which is Czech Republic And I'm going to tear around it and ink around it and I think it will be a nice touch here on the on the back side or maybe it's too small ah so indecisive today maybe I would like something slightly bigger or maybe oh maybe a couple like that yep I love it. See, this one I'm not going to be tearing. I will just leave it as it is. And let's see. I think for this, because it's such a thin paper, I can use glue stick. Not worried, it will fall off. Am I covering? No, okay. <laughs> for a moment here I thought I was covering my Malta, which I chose for this journal particularly, but no. Oof. <laughs> Good. And then this one here. And yep, I love this, this little cluster here. So, I think what's left to do on the outside for now at least is inking the edges here and I think maybe um, that could be it for today and we would continue um, in the next video I will show you guys how I would quickly bind the signatures or sew in the signature into the cover. Okay, 
I love, I love it. <laughs> I love this botanical touch uh, in the form of, of these stamps. And then here is where our signature will go. Oh, so cute. So cute. I am going to uh, think about whether I want to make this cover a bit kind of shorter this way um, but maybe not maybe I will just add some tabs maybe in the next next video okay so here is what we've got so far we've got our outside cover or you know our cover <laughs> so this is what it looks on the front with the journey this is uh, removable so if I, you know, come up with a different name or something like that, I can change it up. We have our back with just a cluster of stamps here, lace on the spine, protecting it. And then when we open this up, we have our fabric. We will definitely do something here, some maybe bigger pocket. And here are our pages, our junky um, but gorgeous assortment of different pages, different papers. Okay, so I will see you guys very, very soon in uh, the next part of this video. So please, please subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see what else we do with this journal, click the notification bell to be uh, notified every time I post a new video. And for now, thank you so much for crafting with me. I had so much fun. Oh, a closure. I think we are also going to make some kind of closure. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I had so much fun crafting with you guys today, making this journal. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.